As those that aren't familiar with the, the, the issue with flies and, and, and the mink farm and those that are living around it, you know, I, I, I was kind of torn with that one because I'm a big advocate of property rights and, and those that have their property and the rights to do what they want on their properties within the law. Um, we are to a point right now where it's becoming an issue around that area. Now, I, I was, I can't say I was on the side of the mink farm, but I was on the side of property rights. At the same time, what I've come to learn over time is that I don't mind you having the rights to do what you want on your property within the law, but it shouldn't impede on those around you. You know, it, it shouldn't um, affect those that are living around you and, and, and their rights as property owners as well. So I think hopefully there's, there's, there's something we can find, again, being creative, thinking outside the box, where we can solve this to, to work for everyone. Um, I think in getting involved uh, in, in getting ready to run for city council, I went to a, a, a buddy of mine and asked him, what is it that I need to do to be an effective city council member? And he said, listen, listen to the people. And this is one of those issues where we have to listen to the people and the issues that they have with the, the mink farms and the flies and figuring out a way to, to uh, deal with that and make it some place where everyone can live comfortably in the city.